All right, everyone. Let's make for Florum. Right. We have to get to the Temple of Water before the Kaiser can get his hands on the crystal. But how? Master's leaky old dinghy's taken us about as far as it can go. We'll have to cross open seas to reach Florum. Maybe we can ask about a more reliable vessel in Unohana. Great idea, sir. It sits right on the ocean. Surely they'd have ships to charter. Oh, and I was looking forward to feeling the waves on my face again. Yeah, you're the only one. You guys are no fun. My, is your hand bothering you, your majesty? It is nothing. I have left that far in the past. The past, the future, and all that comes between, I deny it all. A moment of your time, Your Majesty. Jan has not returned. I would request permission to see to his whereabouts. Your Majesty, the Blazing Wolf's not going to be happy about being treated like a pup. Besides, I believe we have more important matters to attend to. Anna is right. Set a course for the Temple of Water. Your Majesty, if you would at least let me... I think I'm going to have to deny that. No offense, Your Majesty. You return. Angelo Oscar Vincenzo Olivier Panettone, patissier non parel, at your service. Or something. What say you let me take a crack at cleaning up those meddlesome crumbs? Intriguing. But why you, Angelo? You would seek revenge for Amy? Revenge? <laughs> Hardly. Just because that foul-mouthed tart had a thing for me, why should I give two whisks about her? Useless to the end, that woman. Couldn't even hold a simple bridge. <laughs> Awfully talkative today, aren't we? If I didn't know better, I'd say the loss of your girlfriend has really put a fly in your batter. <laughs> Very well. Do as you wish. But we will not wait long. Should you fail, do not bother reporting back. Whatever you say, boss. Uh, your Majesty. I'll be going now, then. With me, ladies. Forever and ever, Chef! Your Majesty, surely it would be wiser to send me, your loyal lieutenant, instead of these... Oh, go take a nap, old man. I have everything under control. Or maybe you could join your sweet little Pope for high tea. Don't think I haven't noticed you sneaking sweets into her cell. It'd almost be touching if it didn't make me sick. The gall! So I think that little cutscene there pretty much confirms my theory on uh, the Kaiser being Yu's brother. Like, why bring up the whole arm thing after we learn that Yu's brother's arm got cut off and mysteriously vanished. But there's two side quests we can do here, which we're going to do. So we're going to do this before the main mission. So let's talk to this old man. Sitting here in the sun, eating dumplings. For a moment, you can almost forget that the world is in danger. Huh? What's the matter, you? You look troubled. It's nothing, really. Just that whenever I look away for a moment, I seem to end up with fewer dumplings. It's a real mystery, wouldn't you say, Idia? Hmm? Did you say something? And see? I turn back this way and once again, fewer dumplings. Such an enigma. Isn't it, Magnolia? Indeed. An enigma. Did you hear that, my dear Whitson? This has all the makings of a case! Right you are, Sholmes. Huh? The owner of those dumplings reports that each time he looks away, his dumplings go missing, one after the next. Yes. 
It looks like we have a cereal dumpling napper on our hands, Sholmes. Are the dumplings being abducted for monetary gain, or out of personal spite? Or is there some hidden tragedy behind it? Quite the conundrum. What's with those two? Another plate of dumplings here, please? And some more of that strong brewed tea, too. And the same here, please. They do seem quite the odd couple. Uh, Sholmes, it's almost time for you to be going. I say, so it is. Blast these interviews. So who do you hope will recruit you? The hard-boiled police inspector, or the sharp-witted private investigator? To be frank with you, old chum, I have not been able to decide. Um, uh, uh, one of those, uh, Wallaby Mochi, if you please. I believe that's Wallaby Mochi, Sholmes. And I'll have the same. At any rate, how fortunate you are to have the choice. Really, what a family you come from. This inspector from the municipal police is related to you in some way, didn't you say? Yes, good Uncle Heinkel. Now, Inspector Argent Heinkel, to be precise. <laughs> Idiot, what's the matter? And that private investigator, too. Kunoichi Kikyo, the silent sleuth, as her fans describe her. She's from your mother's side of the family, is she not? What? Oh, drink, drink. Here you are, sir. Stay with us. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but would you mind keeping it down? Are you kidding me? You expect me to keep my mouth shut after hearing something like that? Hi, Colin Inspector. Kick you a private eye for reals? Uh, just who are you, fellows? Uh, oh, I say, this wallaby mochi is more soupy-alicious. Solmes, so this is where you've been hiding. I'm afraid I'll have to postpone our interview today. Argent Heinko, holder of the Night Asterisk. As erstwhile captain of the Eternian Sky Knights, he was once Idia's commanding officer, a hardened warrior. Dedicated to his cause, and trusted by those who serve him. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Inspector Heinkel, pray tell, what is the matter? You look positively a flutter. There's been a homicide in Stockfort. In other words, a murder! Isn't that what I just said? Never mind. Do you want to help or not? You can't have anything else planned. Heinkel! What's going on? Idia? You heard us, didn't you? I'm busy with an investigation. Idle questions can wait. I'll be going ahead, Sholmes. I'll see you at the crime scene. Hmm. Something just came flying. A kunai! And with a note tied to it, no less! Quickly, let us examine the evidence. Asked to investigate Starkford murder. Must delay meeting. Kikyo. Aunt Kikyo! Konoe Kikyo. The silent Kunoichi. Holder of the ninja asterisk. Idia encountered her in Heart's Child when Kikyo served as a key member of the Black Blade's covert forces. Too shy to express her thoughts to others face to face, this woman of many masks hides great secrets within her silence. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Dear Aunt Kikyo, won't you ever speak to me directly? But never mind that. Come, Whitson, her case calls! Right you are, Sholmes. Uh, hold up. Can someone explain what is going on? Sherlock Holmes, oh my god. Argent Heinkel, Knights Captain of the Eternian Sky Knights, is now a hard-boiled inspector in the Unohana PD. And Kikyo, lethal assassin of the Black Blades, is now famous as the Silent Sleuth? Things certainly have changed. And what about those other two? Oh, Sholmes and Whitson? They said they were members of a sleuthing club. A sleuthing club? 
So they're private investigators too? Not quite. Apparently it was a school club, but they've kept at it since graduating. They're just playing detective. Give me a break. Aren't they both older than me? Oh, but that Shums fellow comes from quite the family. His grandfather was a world-famous private detective. His father is a police commissioner, and his mother is a celebrated mystery novelist. What's more, his aunts, uncles, and cousins are all involved in solving crimes one way or another. What a pedigree. So, what should we do, Idia? Huh? Why are you asking me? Well, I mean, as the attorney and representative in the party... Ah, I was afraid you'd mention that. They said they were going to Stark for it, didn't they? Come on, guess we are too. That was another side quest. I could potentially do, but I wasn't too sure where to actually start it. Like, I know I spoke to one person a couple of episodes back, but then I don't know where the second person is. Maybe we'll come back here at night. But now, with quite a bit of money, I can potentially buy the rest of the spells. I don't want to buy armor. I haven't bought any weapons in a long time. Maybe I should buy some new weapons. Probably a good idea. I uh, don't need a shield for you. Definitely should buy the gun. Should buy the rod. Should definitely buy a few of these, damn. Four of them. I'd run out of money again. But at least we can do a little, a little bit more damage now. There we go, and then just. Quickly just do that, there we go. So that starts the next main mission. Do I really want to go in here? Might come back at night time, see if that starts the second side quest. We have a side quest that's going up there, so I guess we can always. Go up here and uh, finish this one off. Ooh, this place looks nice. Looks familiar though, I think. What boss did I fight here in Bravely Default? I cannot remember. Pretty sure I've been here before. What a curious place. It looks so intimidating from the outside. It's also so sad, as if some great dream ended here. It's true that Stark Fork is all that's left of some men's dreams. This place was once the headquarters of a, a faction called the Swordbearers. You guys know that this country was embroiled in a civil war until just a few years ago. Yes, a long war of two opposing factions, the Shieldbearers and the Swordbearers, which pitted brothers against brothers. Commander Goodman was the leader of the Shieldbearers, wasn't he? He was, the two factions were meant to... Uh, complement one another, one to protect the crystal, the other to quell enemy attacks. As time went on, the shield bearers came to assume uh, political power, which didn't sit well with the sword bearers. The leader of the sword bearers tried to ally with the uh, duchy, which was working to spread anti crystallism uh, to other lands. But then they began a bloody coup, without listening to the duchy's efforts to uh, dissuade them. The duchy wouldn't abandon the sword bearers in their hour of need, so dispatched their finest, the black blades. Led by none other than the Swordmaster Kamazumi himself. Ah, did we fight him here? You remember him, right? He was also a D-Year's master. We taught her the way of the sword. So that's the truth of how that war first broke out. And it all began right here. This forbidden old fort? It did, which only makes it all more baffling. Who in the world would consider this a prime piece of real estate? Who guess it's as good as mine? <laughs> the merchant, he probably could. Let's just go in. Uh, level 34, so we're turning encounters on to get a little bit of XP around here. And go explore and hopefully find some good stuff. Plus I need some money. I think, like, right now I don't need to grind, but when I do grind, like I said before, I'm going to put the merchant class on everyone, just get some money, rack that up a little bit. 
That's the stairs, don't want to go towards the stairs, that's more stairs. Ah, oh, these guys. The enemy is feeling brave. Okay. Don't know what these guys are weak to. So I'm just gonna go. Let's try, try my luck, try needle, and then just. I should do. Finish him off to be honest. You can lower my physical attacks, fine, I guess, but. So, do quite a bit of damage, which is nice. Ooh, Vicious almost level 7, that's nice, and Hawkeye's almost level 5. Oh, all three areas lead to stairs, okay. Yeah, I thought the left side would be the dead end so I get like, a, potentially an item, but it's the right side. Got some doggies! Hey, how you doing buddies? Some hellhounds. Release the hounds. Oh no, what was it? Fetch me their souls! I'm gonna fight cod zombies. <laughs> and that's what finish them all off. They have a lot of HP. Luckily, but yeah, I'm not gonna do a. Uh, Victory streak just yet. Gonna wait until we grow near 34, then I'll start going for victory streaks. Anyway, whichever way this leads to, I'll uh, turn off encounters on the way back and just fully explore the space before we even. Oh, God, Mag Magnolia needs HP, doesn't she? Uh. I wonder what these guys are weak to. Uh, let's try Frost next. Could examine them, but. I know they're weak to daggers, which is nice. Ah, there you go, the weak to ice. Don't attack Magnolia. Uh, damn it. Oh, you're joking me. No. Do not want to challenge her right now. And oh, God. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go. Or even depends if I can outspeed, which I do not care. I've got 500 HP, so I might go out to live. Oh, I'll please say I can. Okay, so frost, needle, those guys. Sorry, uh, Lydia, need to, uh, get these guys out, I thought they were going to kill me. One lane for a gun, oh, okay, Doom, Doom's fun.
I would assume you're weak to thunder, hopefully. <laughs> nope. That's terrible. Okay. I hate this guy, I hate this guy, I hate this guy. Just because Tiz couldn't kill the guy that day anyway. Okay. Did not, did not want to do a uh, stupid, stupid challenge. Finish him off. Okay, that's some decent XP though, damn. I think what I'm gonna do is turn encounters off for a little bit so I can find a save point guy. Sugar loaf, sweet. Oh my god, that enemy was super annoying. So this is back here, which is a completely dead end. I want to assume the middle is the right way to go, but I'm going to go the right side. I bet the right side is the right way to go. Usually right is right. Please say right is wrong. <laughs> so I can just go exploring and hopefully get some, some cool stuff. Yay, right was wrong. 1200 PG. Love that. Any hidden item here? Nope. Just keeping counters off for a little bit. Don't really want to get into a battle right now. Not until I can find a guy to heal up. I can do a little bit of grinding later on. You recommend a level 30 to 34, and I'm like. Tis is what? Almost 34? 33, 31, 32, 30. Huh. Everyone is uh, like one little apart. If you line them up in order, but. Ah, oh, there's an item there. Let's quickly go grab that. Make sure there's nothing here. Phoenix down. Alright, not bad. With half seas, it's actually pretty decent. I love half seas so much. Saved my butt too many times. Chest to the left, just grab that. Oh, that's a locked chest, damn it. Damn locked chests. Ruin everything. Just in case something bad does happen, I'm just gonna quickly. That'll do. Just need MP for a uh, Tiz. Yay, more money! The more money, the more better. Because I, I need money right now. Kind of poor. I need to buy some new equipment, some supplies, and I want to buy the rest of the spells. Just the spells are super expensive. Oh, they were so expensive, man. At least the two stairs. Don't want to go that way just yet. This place is like a maze, isn't it? Oh, at least it's the same area. Just okay. Let me double check. There's not an item in this corner here. Seems like a good place for an item. Yep. Okay. Good. Let's go down first. Yeah, we get a lovely stuff of life. I'm gonna try the new stuff on a bit later on. Don't know why, but I like to clear a dungeon first before I like, equip stuff. Like, if I find like a cool weapon, I'll equip it after the dungeon for some reason. I don't know. Just like to fully look at everything. I think it's the right way to go, because at least that's a save point guide. But at least I can heal up first before we head up. Since we're going to be a boss battle up ahead. 
and go back down, go the other way, see what's around there. Quickly saving again just in case we run into like a group of them big goblin gargoyle things and they all doom me and I can't kill them and end up dying. That will be horrible. Alright, let's put the right back to normal. Get into a few fights. These guys look sweet. Don't know week two, but let's try to find out. That would be the light, but I'll give it, give it a go. Wait, say zombie? Yeah, I'll be firing light, I'm guessing. Double check. Daggers. Yeah, we can fire and light. He's berserk. Only if I went full, full brave, I'd end up killing them all. But a little bit off. Hey, it is thirty-one. Sweet. This gets us a Nopu mushroom. Nah, I don't know how you pronounce that, but I don't know gargoyle things. Okay, so let's try blast. And that one's weak to dagger and ice. We have five turns to do this. This is going well. I feel like I should run. I really don't want to run. <laughs> um, no, it's just should I run? Yep, should I run? Yeah, I'm gonna try one. This is bad, this is bad. Woo! <laughs> oh, wow, okay, let's turn the commands off. Them stupid demon things are so annoying. Like, get doomed, you're kinda, you're kinda screwed. Need to, like, get a healed up potentially, but, or well, half seas, but being blind as well, kinda. A little bit scared. A little bit scared there. Those guys are not the nicest foes to fight. Please, I know they're weak to light now, so. Quickly, see head up top and probably get into a boss battle. Murder, it looks like. Idia, you're late. I'm sorry, sir. We were just... Wait. Why am I in trouble? Miss hmm. Idia, forgive me. I did not realize that you were acquainted with my dear Uncle Heinkel and Aunt Kikio. Don't worry about it. Just... 
Don't tell me about any more of your relatives. <clears throat> now then, allow me to bring you up to speed. The victim was one Lord Earl Gulliver, famous around these parts for his considerable wealth, real well known. He was alone in this room when he was stabbed in the back by an unknown assailant. He appears to have died on the spot. These three here claim to have discovered the body simultaneously. First, we have Lord Gulliver's wife, Madame Golddigger. Next, the current landowner of Starkfort, Mr. Land Lesser. And finally, Lord Gulliver's financial advisor, Noah Interest of Eisenbank. The murderer is within our midst! <laughs> Soames, get yourself under control, or I'll do it for you. So, sorry, Uncle. I just always wanted to say that. So the three of you discovered Lord Gulliver's body simultaneously. Could you tell us the circumstances? We came to inspect the property. My husband was interested in purchasing it as a vacation home. At first, we toured each floor together, Earl, myself, and these two, until we reached this top floor, that is. My husband, a military history buff, became so enamored with this room that he showed no sign of leaving. And so we escorted the madam down to the fifth floor to show her a bit more of the fort. My word! Did you see him? He's like a child in a candy store. <laughs> and why shouldn't he be happy? Why, to have such a young and beautiful wife at his age. Lord Gulliver is a lucky man indeed. Mm. Now, if you would allow me, madam, it would be my pleasure to show you the fifth floor. No, if you don't mind, I'd like to look around on my own a bit. Uh, of course. As you wish, milady. A lord's a real character, isn't he? To think of buying a gloomy fort like this as a vacation home. And his wife. <laughs> a young woman wanting to be left alone in this kind of place. She's an odd duck herself. Well, I'll have not a bad word to say about either if they take this place off my hands. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, back so soon, milady. Yes, I've seen more than enough. Is my husband still upstairs? Engrossed in the ambiance of the fort, no doubt. What say we go rouse him from his reverie? So no one had gone in or out of this room that whole time? If so, that would practically make this a bona fide locked room mystery. Indeed so. Mr. Lesser and I were standing at the base of these stairs the entire time. Precisely. And no one went past us to reach the upper floor. And the murder weapon? This single-edged dagger here, it was found on the floor beside the victim. It matches up to the stab wound as well. I've got it! The murderer must have prepared a weapon of solid ice, which he or she then used to deal a blow to Lord Gulliver's head. Genius, Sholmes! Then the ice would have melted, leaving us with no murder weapon. The cause of death was clearly the stab wound. I'll thank you not to muddy our investigation with frivolous conjecture, Sholmes. My dear Whitson, have a look at this rope. Brilliant, Sholmes. Surely the murderer used this rope to lock off the room after escaping. That's our rope, you fools! It says YHPD right on it! <gasps> Do you see that there? A dying message! The murderer is Whit. <gasps> Whitson, you couldn't have! Sholmes, you know I would never... <laughs> Just having a laugh at your expense, old chum. I hate to say it, but aren't those two just getting in the way? 
You'd do well to ignore them. His parents begged me to give him a chance. I suspect it was much the same for you, Kunoichi Kikyo P.I. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> to think that you became a private investigator. Well, I guess it's no more surprising than Heinkel working for the police. Hmm. So tell me, how does the silent sleuth see this case? Hmm. As talkative as ever. That's some trick to pull off an investigation without ever opening your mouth. All we know at present is that the victim was stabbed in the back with no sign of any struggle. We can assume that... The murderer was someone close to the late lord, which rules out Mr. Lesser as the two had only just met today. However, that fat banker may be a different story. Mr. Entress is worth looking at, as of course is the young wife. She has the most obvious motive, but we have no actual proof, not to mention how she could gain entry. La vache! That is simply astounding! I've never heard anyone speak so rapidly! It's like she didn't even stop to breathe! Yeah. It's been a while, but it never fails to leave an impression. Jones! She spoke! Right you are, old chum. I dare say we have just experienced the silent sleuth's ninja power. Breathtaking. But Kikyo, do you really think she could kill him in one go with those skinny arms? Quite so. Aunt Kikyo, there must be another suspect hiding beneath this very... You! Zip it! You know, Kikyo, the murderer must have been a pretty skilled assassin to pull this off. Someone as skilled as, say, you? What? Lord Gulliver was stabbed right through to the heart to deal such a blow with a rusted and neglected knife, such as this one here, would surely take two hands on the full weight of a body behind it. Yet look at this, this silver blade is discolored and there's purple modeling at the base of the neck. Evidence that the blade was coated with some kind of poison. All the murderer had to do was scratch Gulliver's skin, and here, this cut on the victim's leather belt shows that there was at least one missed strike, a derelict weapon, a wasted poison, a needlessly difficult method of killing. In short, this murder was no experienced assassin, but a rank amateur. Right, not at all your style. I'm sorry for suggesting it. Which leaves us with the wife as the prime suspect after all. Madam Golddigger? I'm afraid we'll need to take you into custody as a material witness. You mean, as a suspect? Oh, ridiculous! I didn't do it! I can understand why you might say that. Madam, I do not enjoy using force. I suggest you come along quietly. <laughs> what insight, what acumen to determine so much from a single knife! It pains me to discount my uncle's work, but there is nothing so impressive as the instincts and deductions of a private investigator. Do you not agree, my good Whitson? <sighs> All right. Huh. I'm gonna say the wife did it. I don't know. The wife usually kills him. Kills the husband. That's all we've learned about Lord Gulliver, sir. Carry on, then. We need to determine the motive, whether it was monetary or some personal grudge. Next! Inspector Heinkel, sir. We searched the walls from top to bottom, but found no evidence of any secret passages. You gave them each a good whack, I trust? A good what? I'm asking whether you were thorough enough to give the walls a good hard knock or not. Uh, no, sir. Then don't say you search top to bottom. Get some more men and start knocking walls before I knock you one in the head. Leave not a single stone unturned. I want every inch of this fort searched. Yes, sir. Uh, Uncle, I must say, my deductions have led me to believe that the murderer must have hidden beneath... Oh, we have work to do, Sholmes. Try not to get in the way, will you? How about you, Idia? Have you noticed anything odd? Hmm... I'd say the banker and the landowner both strike me as a bit suspicious. You think so, hmm? Well, what have we found out? 
Sir, we did a background check on Mr. Lesser, but found nothing particularly noteworthy. He seemed quite pleased with the prospect of having Lord Gulliver take both the land and the building off his hands. The same for the banker, Mr. Noah Entrist. He stood to gain nothing from Lord Gulliver's untimely death. Any ties between the two? None. They say that today was their first time meeting one another. If those two weren't in cahoots, then this really is a locked room case. We found no evidence to identify a suspect definitively. But if we consider motive alone... The one who would benefit most from Lord Gulliver's death would be his wife, who stands to inherit all his massive wealth. True, but would she really try something so obvious? So you thought so, too. Let's look into her story without any preconceived notions. Listen, men. Every shred of evidence we gather brings us one step closer to catching our perp. A formal investigation is painstaking and laborious. But if we're thorough in the task, we will surely bring the culprit to justice. Yes, sir. What command! What presence! Now that is what true detective work is all about! Sorry, Aunt Kikyo, but I think the Force is the place for me to lead an investigative team. Oh. Surely you agree, my dear Whitson? Hmm. The poor woman. Material witness or no, to be confined to the very room in which one's husband was brutally murdered. At least she should be safe, with the room being locked and all. Keep watch on Madame Golddigger. No one comes up or down these stairs, got it? Sholmes, what do you two intend to do? We thought to examine this floor in further detail. By Jove, I think I've got it! What? Uh, sorry. I just had the sudden urge to say that. <laughs> <sighs> the rest of you come with me. The lower floors need thorough inspection. Huh? What happened to Kikyo? Before we knew it, she had dashed off somewhere. Oh, and she left behind this note. Investigating downstairs. Maybe she has a lead. Oh, maybe she does. We should definitely go and uh, check her out. Oh, God. I pushed left, but went up. So either the wife did it, or the wife's going to be dead. So part of me thinks, like, the assassin's going to say this person did it. I reckon the assassin's going to blame the knight, the knight's going to blame the assassin. And whoever you choose, like, got to kill the, well, not kill you, I fight the other person, obviously that's how it's going to work. Could make sense, because what, she died by brute force, and then died by... So he died by brute force, but there's also poison in it, so maybe the assassin tried poisoning him. And then uh, he just finished her off, not knowing she was poisoned. He was poisoned. Oh, but... Miss Idia. So, I hear your family is something else, Holmes. I wouldn't say that. Really? Grandfather, a famous private detective? Father, a famous police commissioner? A best-selling mystery novelist for a mother? Not to mention Heinkel and Kikyo. I'd say that's pretty darn impressive. Perhaps. Unfortunately, I'm far less so. To be honest, it's quite a burden. I had hoped the two of you might understand how I feel. The daughter of the Grand Marshal of Eternia, and the young heir to the illustrious House Genealogia. <laughs> well, you know yourself best. So, what are you gonna do? Planning to enter the Unihana PD? Or is the life of a P.I. more for you? They both have their own appeal, of course. Should I join the police, master the art of leading an investigation, and hone my innate leadership skills as I work toward the top? Or should I use the deductive genius I was born with to become a famous P.I., solving cases that have baffled ordinary minds the realm over? Miss Idia, 
Which do you think would be a better use of my considerable talents? Well, when you put it that way... Basically, it comes down to whether you'd rather start your career working for Heinkel or Kikyo, right? I bet whoever you turned down would try and convince you to reconsider. With force. <laughs> do you really think so? Both my aunt and uncle seem frustrated with my aimless nature. I've come to think that they might even be relieved to not have me follow in their footsteps. Hmm... You may be less of a self-important spoiled brat than I thought. That's some insight after all. I guess it does run in the family. My advice would be to just watch carefully how both Heinkel and Kikyo approach their work. Observation is one of the most fundamental skills for any investigator, to be sure. Don't give up! You know, I like all the references in this game. Like, we've had Star Wars, Sherlock Holmes, Pretty fine, it's so many more. Ooh, saw on the floor. I think that was already there, though, but still. Oh, you're not with Sholmes? We are fast friends and partners, but even we don't spend all our waking hours together. On a case, we stick to our own specialties and try not to interfere with each other's processes. Your specialties? Sholmes tends to rely on instinct and inspiration to make his deductions. I prefer to quietly analyze the details of a crime. <sighs> I suppose we are both the products of our environments. You also come from quite the family, huh? No less impressive than Sholmes, at least. Oh, please, come off that. Sholmes' grandfather was a world-famous detective. Mine was a world-famous detective's aide. Sholmes' father became police commissioner, while mine was never promoted beyond lieutenant. His mother is a best-selling mystery novelist. Mine, a best-selling mystery novelist's assistant. Sholmes comes from a line of brilliant deductive geniuses, while I come from a line of glorified sidekicks. There are no Inspector Hankels or Silent Sleuth Kikyos among my relatives. Not that I'd expect the heirs to the houses of Lee and Jenny Olja to understand. Huh. So what are you gonna do once Sholmes figures out his career path? Who knows? I can only do what I can. Quietly, out of the spotlight. I see. Sorry to interrupt your investigation. He's almost like a different person when he's not together with Sholmes. Hmm. Oh. This investigation is getting quite interesting. Question is how far down has she gone? Looks like not that far. Oh, well he's here anyway. She's probably further down. Hmm? Oh, idiot. I'll not be taking any ridiculous questions about why a knight like myself is now working for some backwater municipal police force. Heinkel. Do not worry. I have not betrayed your father's trust, nor have I turned my back on Eternia. My business is mine alone. Further prying will get no more out of me. Murgaker. I would not object to telling you the tale, but now is not the time. I suggest you desist. Inspector! You must see this, sir! Understood. I'm on my way. Heinkel. What more can you have to pester me about? Just, um... Why are you still wearing that? I mean, you don't usually see a crime scene investigator in full plate armor. Ha! Have you ever seen me in anything else? It'll take more than a job change to get me to lay these aside. Not to mention my great shield. Uh... If you say so. Sir! Ah, can you simpletons go one minute without hounding me? What is it this time? It's Madame Golddigger, sir. She's dead. What? What's that you say? I told you she'd die. Either she was the murderer or she'd die. I heard a noise and came running, but she was already cold. Did she do this herself? A murder-suicide? Hmm. 
Hmm. A fine mess this has become. The madam is dead? Oh, say it is not so! Hmm. Madam Goldigger as well? But... but what about the sail? That's hardly... Is it true? Lord Gulliver's wife dead as well? Whitson! Quick to the scene, I see. Yeah, everyone's already here but you, Sholmes. So, Madame Goldigger is also dead. This is surely a case of murder! And just why do you think that, Sholmes? G uh, call it a sixth sense? A, a flash of insight? A, uh, a strong hunch? And it tells me now that, uh, that the murderer is hiding beneath that table! Wait, huh? Come, Sholmes, even for you, that's a bit, hmm? What's that? A note. I shall follow where you go. Did Madame Goldigger write this? She killed herself out of grief over the loss of her beloved husband? Hmm. No, this was surely planted by the murderer to lead us astray. A personal challenge from the true culprit. Hang on, where's the challenge in there? There must be a hidden message. If we look at the first letter of each sentence... There's only one sentence! Oh, enough! We start the investigation from the top. Yeah, what a miserable day. Oh. Can I stop pie chat? This side quest is very long, but it's, oh, it's kind of interesting. I really want to know who the murderer is now. Reminds me of that side quest from, um, ah, oh, the, the one in, yeah, Heart's Child. It was there, wasn't it? So Captain, um, Hancock and the commander could have been childhood friends. One is shield specialist and the other commander of the shield bearers. Do you think they ever... Ever what? Well, you know, comparing shield sizes, that sort of thing. <laughs> well, I'm sure they may have been rivals of a sort. Not that we'll ever know for sure. I could never would talk much about his life before joining up with the uh, duchy. Wait, I've got it. Maybe they're rivals for fair Eleanor's hand. Oh, I like it. I can see it now. A duel of passion atop Eisen Bridge. For three days and three nights, neither would go an inch. Hold on. I feel like I've heard this somewhere before. Lady Victory looked upon young Goodman with favour. And Hankel, bearing the shame of defeat, stole away from Heart's Child. Never return. Da da da! Oh, that has to be it. That settles it. I'm totally going to ask Hankel. Me too, me too. We'll get the truth out of him if it kills us. I swear, I don't understand why girls go for that sort of thing. So how'd it go? He bopped me on the head with a gauntlet. <laughs> me too. But we won't give up. The truth is out there. Oh god. Let's just check this side here, make sure. Get fully, uh. Get the map. Heinkel, how sure are we that this room is really secure? We've been over every inch and found not a single hidden passage. It's a sealed chamber if I ever saw one. Kikio, you stayed here when you were with the Black Blades, didn't you? How well did you all know the fort? When I was stationed here as part of the Black Blades covert forces, I knew every hidden passage in this fort. It appears, however, that there have been renovations since then, which could very well mean... Hmm. All right, listen up. I want you to go over every square inch of this room with a fine-tooth comb. Leave no stone unturned. Yes, sir. Excuse me, Uncle Heinkel. We'd like to have a word with you. What is it this time, Sholmes? I just thought, uh, perhaps we should consult with Mr. Lesser. He is the owner of the fort. Hmm. Not bad. Renovations? I'm afraid any such work would have occurred before I acquired the property. 
but you should have records showing the name of the former owner, yes? The one who carried out said renovations? Yes, I believe I do. I thought as much, just as you should have records of the two of us working here. Isn't that so, Whitsome? Uh, that's true enough. I remember it well. We were still students then. It was the best pay we'd ever gotten. W why, yes, it was. You heard the man. Go to Mr. Lesser's office and bring me the names of everyone involved with the renovation work. Yes, sir. Uh. Not too shabby, Sholmes. You might have what it takes to pull off an investigation. With careful police work and keen instinct, both. I wonder. In truth, I still can't decide. Am I best suited to the life of an inspector, tirelessly pursuing criminals through steady, thorough investigation? Or am I destined to become a genius detective, using logic and inspiration to track down the most evasive criminal masterminds? Hmm... You gotta pick one, huh? Huh... So... Wait... Choose a life. If I choose police... Inspector, I have to fight... The pro investigator, right? I assume? I wanna... I wanna get the ninja. Or do they replace the person who's gotta fight him? Uh, I think, yeah, I want to get the ninja class, I think I want to go for this <sighs> one, right? I think you should follow in Heinkel's footsteps. You'd make a great inspector. Now's not the time for you to be running around on your own as a private eye. With nothing to guide you but your hunches. Start off by working with people who have experience. Learn the ropes of how to investigate, then go from there. If you do that, I bet you'll make a great inspector someday. Why, yes! When you put it that way, it's elementary! I'll train to become an inspector under my dear Uncle Heinkel's tutelage. <laughs> Kikyo? I was asked by your parents to help you find a job, a sheltered little fool I barely have any ties to, but still I agree to watch over you, even though I would rather do anything else, and this is how you repay me, you ingrate? Kikyo? And you. I knew you had more muscles than brains, but are you truly so foolish as to think that you could suggest that Sholmes become an inspector and it wouldn't end with you battling me, idiot? Alright, defeat Kikyo and your tiny ninja asterisk. Yes, I want that. Oh yeah, I think it was the, in the, um, Bravely Default, the Ninja class and the, uh, Alternus class, I thought, what was it again? Oh god, the Alternus class, uh, oh, I'm blanking, whatever it was called, it was, that was super OP, it's like the move Dark Bane, I think it was, you can do some really OP stuff with that, so I want the Ninja class for later on, although, Nike could be, no, we want the Ninja, we want the Ninja, ninja class. Well, I have done a lot of grinding, uh, I actually lost to this woman a couple of times so I had to do a bit of grunt off screen and now I am pretty much good level to destroy her. So little things I should mention that I have trained up Magnolia's uh, merchant class and so now I get more money and I did a few other job classes that everyone else but um, they're back to what they usually are but I'm going to probably put Magnolia to the ninja class I think after this. I definitely want to make her a Valkyrie at some point but... The ninja class is actually pretty decent, and I don't know, kind of want a ninja on the team, it's pretty cool. So we are a nice level right now, and I know how to beat this woman. So we're going to go straight for a, doesn't really matter what magic we go for, go for a mist, do some damage over turns, and then we're just going to go for a, uh, 
Doesn't really matter, let's just go for a dart. For a magnolia, let's just default. Default. And let's... Default. Alright, she's minus two already, so that's great news for me. So I'm gonna go... Minus one, go for a few attacks. Is we're gonna go astral magic. I've also bought all the magic as well because after training the merchant class up, quite a few uh, job levels. Like I think I got to level six. Um, I got a lot of money and I spent it pretty much buying uh, some new equipment, bought some uh, new spells. So I am pretty good right now. Pretty darn good. All right, so let's go physical boon, magnolia, physical boon, idea, and then we're just gonna go. Mystic Boon, me, and then we are going to go for a nice uh, Thunderer. That'll do. The problem with the Ninja class is that she's got this. Um, basically, if she evades an attack, she can counter. It does a butt ton of damage, and she also yeah, so that's that's her little ability, which is really annoying. But she's also got a move that basically she can evade the first physical attack. So I was constantly losing. Uh, HP because I would keep missing. But now I'm pretty good. I'm just gonna go all that attack quest uh, quick. Do that damage, come on. Oh the ranger passes so much damage. She defaulted, okay. Um I'm gonna go all that attack again because you is completely fine here. Uh, let's go for a nice dart. And we're going to go max out again, but this time we're going to go ahead and cure it our whole team. And let's go for a few blizzards. There we go. Get the mist going. There's this one physical attack. Okay, so no matter what we go for, if we go for a physical attack, she is going to counter. Well, she's going to evade it, or we're going to miss, and then she's going to just destroy someone. So, I'd rather Eddie do it because she's got quite a lot of HP, so we're going to miss this attack coming in. There you go. And does that, that's not great. Oh, this could be bad. We might end up dying here because she outspeeds like everyone. Unless she defaults, that'd be great. Come on, be cool. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. That's fine. That is totally fine. So let's uh, bless him. And then we can just go heal. Uh, I really want to get Tiz back alive. Okay, we still good, we still good. Go to fault because I'm gonna end up dying then. Let's try this again. Cure it. And then cure it everyone. Oh yeah, she defaulted. Nice. Something cool we can do with um Eddie as well is we can uh, add like piercing default bullets. Which does it's pretty good, okay. So we're just gonna attack her right now. I'm going to uh, quickly add the condor. Okay, I'm just hoping you don't... Ah, come on. We're fine. Do that. Now you're not going to resist any attacks. Hopefully you don't miss. Like that. That's what I was hoping we wouldn't miss. Because that sucks. That's fine. That's why I didn't attack with Tiz. Because I wanted to... Uh, raise Magnolia and then we'll just go for a nice curator on everyone. Gotta be close to killing her now, so let's go for a dart and then let's go for two darts. I'm not gonna finish her off. Damn it! 
Don't kill, don't kill, don't kill her. On the XP for Magnolia, bad. Don't need it. Oh, no one. Items, so we'll just go for a nice Eve. Oh, also bought a lot of stuff. So you can see I've got 35 Phoenix Downs, 30 High Potions. I'm pretty good right now. Oh, wait, I put the wrong person. Okay, I'm gonna go Phoenix Down, Magnolia, High Potion. Magnolia, be a lot easier. Okay, she's probably gonna go for what I think she's gonna go for. Hmm. So I don't like the um, the merchant's abilities here. This all like spend money to just uh, make an enemy buy an item from me. That's pretty funny. Oh god. Okay. Um. Let's just attack and then. This. this might be able to finish her off. There we go. Ooh, pretty tough battle. It's just the, the ninja class is annoying that it can evade so many attacks and just counter with a, a powerful attack. Tears grow level, level 36. Nice. Got the Gaia hairpin, was that? But the ninja asterisk, which I will more than likely put on Magnolia. I don't know, I kind of fancy using a ninja. Magnolia looks great as a ninja though. Fast dude and fighter, high power with dude and um, save his daggers. Okay. I'm going to buy two daggers though. Get some really nice ones. <laughs> So I lost to you. Who'd have thought you were this strong? Uh, who are you? The game is up, Whitson. There's no place for you to run. What? You hoped that I wouldn't follow my Uncle Heinkel in his line of work. You didn't want a formal investigation to uncover the truth. That you were here at this very fort two years ago. That you knew of a certain feature of this fort, and that you... <laughs> Let us end this charade. Whoa! When all you had was a laughable dream of becoming a private investigator, I could turn a blind eye. But when you finally gave up your ridiculous posturing and did some real detective work, you became quite the nuisance. What have you done with Kikyo? I don't have to answer to you. If you care so much, find her yourself. Get back here! A secret passage? So this is how the perpetrator... And so they found the real Kikyo bound up in another of the fort's hidden corridors? That's right. I'm just relieved she wasn't hurt. Sholm says she was lured out by a false promise of information, then taken captive. Hmm. But in the end, we still don't know the truth of what happened? Well, thanks to Inspector Heinkel's investigation, several facts have come to light. Lord Gulliver's murder? was the sole work of Madame Goldiga, who was after his fortune from the beginning. She heard about the hidden corridor from Whitson. Apparently those two have a history together. She just happened to hear about it? Whitson mentioned the corridors when Lady Goldiga told him that her husband planned to purchase Starkfort. Perhaps he also mentioned how ideally suited it was for staging the perfect murder. A murder she then decided to carry out. Whatever he knew or didn't know, Whitson hurried to the crime scene under the pretense of investigating with Sholmes. Then, Madame Goldigan misread his intentions, thinking he was there to help her. She tried over and over to get him on her side. In the end, she even tried threatening him, though we'll never be sure with what. But what about the note we found? I shall follow where you go. 
There were quite a few theories flying around about that note, weren't there? The madam might have written it, or... The truth seems to be that Lord Gulliver wrote that note himself. He did? I guess coming to Starkford and getting caught up in its history sparked the creative urge in him. That note was from a novel he was working on. They found the continuation of it with the rest of his belongings. Oh, so it was just a red herring. Forgive me. It's my fault for jumping to conclusions like I did. Apologizing for a bad hunch? Who are you, and what did you do with the real Sholmes? I'll take that as a compliment. Uncle Heinkel, I mean, Inspector Heinkel, has been teaching me what it means to truly be a part of a real investigative team. Sholmes, we have a case! I yes, sir. Go cordon off the scene and begin collecting evidence. I'll get there as soon as I can. Yes, sir. Crack that whip, Heinkel. Looks like you have some high hopes for him. Well, as it turns out, his insight has proved quite invaluable to our investigations. The day might even come when he's the one ordering me around. You don't seem too upset about that. If you'll excuse me, I'm due at the scene. I can't let that sniveling little upstart think he's in charge quite yet. Be well, Idia. It seems you chose well, Idia. Everything's working out wonderfully. Yep. Not bad, if I do say so myself. And I'm relieved that I gave Sholmes good advice for his future, too. Excuse me, can I get a soybean mochi and another cup of strong tea? Make that two. One for me, too. Let's make it five sets. Coming right up! Uh, but there's only four of... Uh... That's a uh, pretty fun side quest. I quite like that. So, what we'll do next is I'm gonna put the ninja asterisk on. There we go. Don't want to change abilities just yet. I want the merchant to continue um, staying on because I get the um, more money. So that's always good. So we want double daggers, don't we? Um, truly buy some daggers, see what we got. So we'll just get uh, two of these. So I kind of want to get like 80,000 just to get the Shepherd's Guards, which I guess would be Tiz's outfit from um, Bravely Default. I think, maybe? I assume, but... Go. Ninja class looking pretty good. But I'm going to end this here. Next episode, there's another side quest we can do before we do the main mission, and we're going to do that. Hopefully, it's, it's not a very long one like.